Welcome to Side by Side Blogs Trail Armor Polaris RZR4 XP900 installation video. These are the rear skids and the front and middle skids, all made from extremely dense 3 8 inch ultra high molecular weight plastic. It's nearly invincible. Note that the hardware and instructions are in a bag that is plastic wrap underneath the rear skid. Next to the rear skids, the front and rear spacers that close the gap between the skids and the chassis and the front and rear of the vehicle. These are the side skids that are seamlessly attached to all three center skids with metal side mounts. You'll see at the end of this video that these pieces all fit together like one giant plate beneath the vehicle, protecting the whole chassis and preventing gaps where the chassis might get hung up in rough terrain. The first step in the installation process is to remove the two factory skids held in place by 20 bolts and washers. Hold on to all of these bolts and washers. You will reuse them in the installation of the new trail armor skids. This is the mounting hardware and installation instructions. Make sure to hold on to all of those factory bolts and washers for installation of the skids. Locate panel C of your trail armor skid plates using the removed washers and screws. Loosely secure panel C by the two center holes. We will tighten up these two bolts a little bit later. From the rear of the vehicle, insert the supplied skid spacer between panel C and the bottom of the vehicle. Align the pre-drilled holes in the spacer with the holes in the vehicle's frame. Secure with the supplied M6 by 30 millimeter bolts and washers. Loosely tighten all fasteners and panel C until the skid plate contacts the frame but is still loose. Locate the supplied metal side mounts. With the offset to the front of the vehicle, secure the metal side mounts with the removed OEM screws. Align the rear of the side mount with the front outer holes in panel C and secure loosely with screws and washers. With the metal side mounts in place, start at the front of the vehicle and install four quarter 20 split nuts to the outer holes in the side mount. The fifth split nut will be a metric 6 by 30 millimeter nut. Locate the supplied front spacer. Align the spacer with the holes in the frame in front of the installed metal side mounts. Peel the tape back and hold into place. Hand start an M6 by 30 millimeter bolt into the factory holes and press spacer tape to adhere. With the spacer still stuck into position, remove the M6 by 30 millimeter bolts. Locate panel A front skid plate and secure panel A and the installed spacer with supplied M6 by 30 millimeter bolts and washers. Leave bolts and washers slightly loose. It is important to mount panel B in the correct direction. As shown here, the bolt holes with the shorter distance are closer to the front of the vehicle. The bolt holes with the longer distance between them are the rear of the skid plate. Line panel B between panel A and C and secure with screws and washers. Align all lap joints and tighten from the rear forward securely. Secure the very front of panel A with the supplied 3 8 by 6 by one thread cutting bolts. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill holes in the outer rocker panels. You can use a hammer and center punch to mark the holes first. Install panels D and E using the supplied quarter 20 by one screws and washers to the four installed quarter by 20 split nuts and the middle side mounts. Align and secure the outer edges of panel D and E into the pre-drilled holes in the rocker panel using the self-drilling screws. As you can see here, the fit and finish of the plates is spectacular. Everything fit together very nicely and the quality of these plates is undeniable.